What's going on everyone? This is Vinny from HighBlock. In today's video, I wanted to walk through one of our premium indicators within the order flow section, focusing specifically on market orders. Just a quick reminder before we dive in that this is not financial advice. Everything I say in the video is for educational purposes only. So let's begin. To start off, I'd like to explain what is a market order. So a market order is also known as a market taker or an aggressive order. It's an order to buy or sell at the market's current best available price. The primary goal of submitting a market order is to ensure immediate execution of the trade that you're looking to take. We'll be covering limit orders in another section, but they're known as passive orders. And studying how passive and aggressive orders are placed within the market can help paint a better picture of the type of activity that's happening at each price. When some of you think of market orders, the first indicator that may come to mind is volume. And although we do cover advanced volume indicators within our solution, that is not something that I'm going to be talking about today. Today, I'll be focusing on two other premium market order indicators. One is called market order count, and the other is called market order average size. You can access both of these on the main chart, which you can see on my screen. If you go to indicators and then order flow and open interest, you'll find both the indicators here, market order count and market order average size. The market order count shows the raw number of market order trades that were executed at each candlestick and the market order average size shows the average size of that same count of trades. Both of these indicators are aggregated across multiple exchanges. And in addition, they can be filtered in four different ways. One is looking at buys, which is only looking at market buy orders. Sell, which is only looking at market sell orders. The total, which is your total number of buy orders plus your total number of sell orders. And then the delta, which is the total number of market buy orders subtracted by your total number of market sell orders. These indicators can be key to understanding market sentiment and give traders the ability to break down buyer and seller activity even further. For example, high trading count can indicate lots of interest in particular price areas, similar to high volume nodes. These areas can later be used as support resistance zones. So let's draw some examples. So if we switch this back from delta to total, we can draw some lines on where we see the highest amount of market order count. So we can use our horizontal line tool. And we can see the largest bar that we see is this one right here. So we can draw a horizontal line at the bottom and another one at the top. And the second highest bar that we see is this one right over here. So we can do the same thing for that candlestick, draw a line at the bottom, draw a line at the top. And we can see that for one of these lines right here in the center, it was respected as support a few times in the future. And we will see later on if these new lines that we've drawn act as support resistance for future prices. Another example is to look at the average size to distinguish areas where larger investors are placing orders versus smaller investors. So to do that, we can go to the market order average size. We can switch to the delta. We can hit OK. And now we can mark off with a vertical line where we see the highest buy volume average size and the highest sell volume average size. So let's remove this drawing. Let's switch to a vertical line. So we can see right here, we have high buyer activity. So we can mark the line right here. And the second highest buyer activity is right over here. And then when we look at seller activity, the two largest candles we see is this one right here. chart and this one right here.
we can notice something interesting for three out of these four lines. For the first one, we see a lot of uh, large buying activity occur before price spiked. At the second bar, we can see a lot of large selling activity occurring before price dropped. And then on the last one, again, we see some large buying activity before price spikes again. So that was a summary of the market order count and average size indicators. Again, these are premium indicators on high block. So if you have access to them, please go check them out. Uh, we'll be putting out more content like this on our YouTube channel pretty often. So please like and subscribe if you'd like to be notified when we release content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.